morning friends hi how are ya welcome back to my channel for a one day vlog this is a one day vlog because guess what else we're doing this week going to hawaii that means my schedule is a little thrown off this week and today we are filming just one long monday vlog i need i need coffee just i need to i need to let some caffeine hit my brain i burned my tongue on bone broth last night you can't tell but i can feel it there's a lot i want to do there's a lot we have to catch up on because, clearly, because um, the last vlog that came out was in Fairhope, and I got engaged, and it was so exciting, and I've gotten so many sweet and kind messages from y'all, and I've just been so overwhelmed, I, I haven't responded to hardly anything, so I feel like we just need to catch up and sit down and have a like, chatty Q&A, and me tell you all my thoughts and feelings about all that, so we'll do that after my meeting a little later. Oh, and last night, I had the most luxurious self-care night. It was my first like night in in a long time. And I, oh my gosh, did so many things. I like even dermoth plan my face. My skin's a little bit mad, but my skin is also a little bit happy about that. I like full hair wash, exfoliation, shave. Oh, today's vlog is sponsored by Osea, who's one of my favorite brands of all time. That's that face wash that I've been obsessed with ever since I stayed in an Airbnb that had it because it totally changed my skin. So now I just keep getting more and more and more of their products because my skin just loves them. I'll show you more about them later, but they sent me a new exfoliator that they have. And so I did a big self care night shower last night and I exfoliated everything and I am in love. So I'll show you that later too, but kind of just what's on top. I'm gonna finish getting ready for that meeting and I will see y'all for a day together. Okay. just sitting here waiting for the meeting to start for five minutes. I was like, weird, five minutes late seems like pretty late. It's not for 30 more minutes. I might as well go make my bed. How about while I'm waiting, I tell you about this, this. Oh. Okay, so I used it last night. This is from Osea, who I told you is sponsoring today's video, who I also told you I am absolutely obsessed with in every way, shape or form. They use the best ingredients. They use a lot of like ocean based ingredients, kind of like Per the name. So this is actually like a kelp Undaria cleansing body polish. This is so great because it exfoliates and it hydrates. There's like micro exfoliants, but there's also an AHA, which helps to gently exfoliate your skin as well. And then when I got out of my shower, I followed it up. I've showed you this body oil before. This body oil really popped off on TikTok because it is so good. It's like such a moisturizing, lightweight, non-greasy, non-sticky formula. And they just came out with a bundle of these two things to where when you buy them together as a bundle, you save $16 on the value as is, but also they then gave me a promo code too to save an additional 10% off of their site. So you could put all those things together should you choose. The Cal UCPP will save you 10% off of your purchase from their website. I could go on and on about this company. I really have to credit it to my Airbnb host back in December because she had their stuff everywhere in the house and I just fell in love, but they are female founded. They are family owned and operated. They use vegan cruelty-free ingredients. I don't know this magic, but it truly just works. My, my body's really into it. Meeting, it's over, yay. I think I'm just gonna wear like athletic clothes today and because all I really need to do is run some errands, etc. So maybe I put on this cute little athletic skirt that I recently got. I look like I'm about to go play tennis, but I'm not mad about it either. <laughs> Just want to go run two quick, fun errands with y'all. I think I also need to bathe Max today. Uh, kind of thinking through all the Hawaii prep. I got this fun new little camera that I'm bringing because it's so small and it has a built-in tripod. Isn't that cool? So I don't need to bring like my big tripod. I don't think I have enough sunscreen. So I might do just a quick run to grab sunscreen and a smoothie because I have no fresh produce, no fresh anything, but I didn't want to go do a whole grocery run if I'm leaving again in 48 hours. So I might just go grab sunscreen and a smoothie as my two errands today. 
I also need toilet paper, paper towels, but I don't really want to do that today, so I don't think I'm going to. <sighs> Quick errands, let's go. Errands complete. Smoothie secured. I got like this protein cacao one, but I added matcha, mint, and spirulina, so it's kind of a green color. But I was watching the guy make it. He was wearing gloves, but he was just touching everything in the kitchen with gloves, like all of the doors and whatever. And then he goes to pour my smoothie, but it's too thick. So he sticks his hand up into the, the blender and just starts like pulling the smoothie out of it. And I was like, that's kind of gross, but hopefully he just recently put on those gloves, whatever. And then he goes to the sink and he just rinses his glove. I was like, okay, so he doesn't change his clothes very often at all. He doesn't, he just rinses them with water. Hopefully this is good for my immune system. Okay, let's do it. Let's talk about all the things I'm feeling. I got so many questions and sweet comments and all sorts of things. And it was like so many, so kind, overwhelming, haven't responded to anything hardly at all. So I wanted to sit down and talk about um, a lot of the questions I got and generally just like how I'm feeling. I feel like it's a unique situation to be engaged once upon a time and then five years and one month later be engaged all over again, not even two years after a divorce. And like, I'm very well aware that that seems like hard to, um, comprehend when you haven't gone through it. First off, like I was expecting to get engaged by the end of the year. It's something, of course, Jordy and I had talked about. I had um, things I wanted to do first. Like I told him, I want to date for at least a year. That's important to me. I want you to feel settled in Oceanside and feel like you have a community so that we don't introduce more change into your life and our life without you feeling like you have roots planted. Um, so I had several things like that that I had told him before like, getting engaged so quick. And so we, we did date almost a year and a half and he does feel settled in Oceanside and he did all those things, but still I was expecting it to happen like the end of the year probably. So he totally took me off guard, which is fun. It's fun to know we're on the same page, but then also still be so shocked and surprised. So I'm really excited and thankful for that. There are a lot of things I'm feeling like this time I feel so much more confident and sure, I guess, because I know what the alternative looks like. Like I know what it looks like to go through this process and, and not be with the right person. And this does feel incredibly different to me, but there's also some things that definitely are tainted after going through it once before. Like I last time was so excited for all of the planning process of a wedding. And this time I'm excited to like be with him. And the idea of a wedding sounds really great and exciting. Um, but the idea of marriage sounds like what I'm mostly excited for. And the idea of like plan, like all of the logistical planning of wedding, moving, all that sort of stuff does not really sound exciting. Something else that I wasn't expecting to feel is I feel like I have permission to be excited about the things that involve him, but I feel like I'm not giving myself permission to be excited about the things that only involve me. Like the idea of a bridal shower or the idea of a bachelorette party. To me, I feel like I don't deserve it because I've done it before. And I'm not saying this is true at all. I'm just letting you know initial feelings that came up that I didn't expect to feel. But like if I was trying to put it into words, the best comparison is I feel like it's someone that celebrates their half birthday and you're like, okay, bro, you're not special. We all get one birthday. You're stop trying to like squeeze in more time about yourself. Part of me is like, Mikel, allow yourself to have this experience again, because now you are older and you can like have that experience as it should be. And people can, you know, help plan and all those sorts of things. So I don't know, there's definitely a conflict going on there of like, you don't deserve it, you do deserve it in my mind. Um, not that it matters if I deserve it or not, it's just what is happening. So I need to let go of that. Um, and there's so many things that like, I would do differently from the last wedding. And maybe I'll do a whole video about that as we get closer, but definitely this is gonna be way more low key, way more budget friendly. I've been thinking about who I wanna invite and we have a venue in mind and it's a small venue. So I think my invite would list would literally be like 30 people so that Jordy could have like the hundred or so people that would want to go to his first wedding, if you know what I mean. I really want to pay for my own wedding this time. I'm so thankful that my parents paid for it last time, but they didn't sign up to pay for two of my weddings, you know, in their mind they have two daughters and they're really sweet and supportive and they 
are so excited about this journey and they love Jordy and they have told me they would love to help out with the wedding, but I am putting my foot down and saying, this is something that I want to do and I want to pay for, for a few reasons. First off, because yet again, I feel like it's not fair for my parents to chip in on two weddings, but second, because I can afford to now. And third, I feel like that gives me permission to break a lot of rules, like only inviting 30 people. Whereas if my parents were the ones hosting it, they would feel more obligated to invite a lot of other people um, from my life or whatever. And I feel like this way I can kind of do a small list on my behalf and they don't feel responsible for telling people sorry. Lastly, I will say I'm kind of like juggling how much of this do I want to share on the internet. I don't want my content to be all like bridal wedding stuff again, um, but I do want to take y'all along for like the important parts of my life. So that's something I'm just going to have to feel out as I go. I don't think I'm going to do a ton of like focused videos on wedding planning, but I do think, you know, in normal vlogs, I'll share it with you. Maybe we'll do like one wedding try on dress video. That's another thing is like, I have no idea. Last time I had such clear visions for everything I wanted. This time I'm like, I don't really care like what my wedding dress looks like, or I care about having a good photographer, yummy, cheap food. I think we're, we're literally probably gonna do a taco truck and, um, it being just like more intimate and special. Otherwise I have no specific visions and I don't really, I don't really have specifics that I like want for sure. These are things I don't want to say because I get emotional. I don't like getting emotional, but I feel so lucky to have the chance. Someone used the phrase a redemption marriage and that is essentially what it is, but I feel so lucky to have the chance to still, you know, be the age I am and have such a long life ahead of me and get the chance to try this again with somebody that I know is going to take really good care of me and protect my heart and like actually genuinely loves me and will work really hard at our relationship and our marriage. Like I have such faith in that and it feels, I'm just thankful. This is not how I pictured life going at all. And I think I didn't picture life going this way because I didn't think I deserved it, but life did go this way. I found someone so quickly that I love so dearly and it feels like such a gift and such a blessing. Okay, I just went through all the questions and I wrote down some of the most common repeating ones that I'm seeing currently. First off, wedding timeline. We have to wait to figure out what his tutor schedule is. I'm hoping April might be May or June. Ring details, it is a five stone. It is lab diamond in yellow gold. So it is real diamond, but it is lab diamond. I keep going back and forth if I think that the cut of the diamonds are oval or marquee, but my mom's ring is a solitaire marquee diamond. And when I hold my next to her, they look almost the exact same shape. And I think that that's really special because it's super similar. It's just a coincidence, but Y'all let me know if you think that these are more oval or marquee, but I think that it's so beautiful. People ask what I'd want to do for a wedding band. I don't know because the way that it's curved, I feel like I'd have to do a curved band. Um, I don't think I'd want to do straight. I think it would look funny. So I'm going to have to do some hunting or maybe get one custom made. Did he ask your parents a blessing? Yes, we briefly mentioned this in the proposal vlog, but this boy dropped me off at my surgery and then drove all the way to my parents and had breakfast with them and asked for my blessing and then drove all the way back to Austin to pick me up for my surgery because <laughs> he said the only time I wouldn't suspect anything is if I was under anesthesia. He's absolutely correct. So does this mean you're moving to California? Will you take time to get settled before the wedding? Yes, this has been something that I really came to peace with during my time off is being back in Oceanside. I realized that it does feel so much like home and that community is something that I don't really feel like I have a cohesive church community here in Austin and it's something I've been craving so bad and I left that trip so sad and that's when I realized I do actually think I want to move here. Like I love the people and the friends that I've made. So the plan is January, go out there and look for an apartment or a house and maybe move February. Will you be changing your name? Honestly, I have no idea. I love the name Cersei, but I have gone through the name change process so many times now. <laughs> not really, it just feels like it in the last couple years that I'm not super eager to do that again. So I bet I won't change it up front. And then I, I could see myself wanting to change it once kids come around um, to have the same name as my kids. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. It's probably keep JNC for the first couple years and then see how I feel later but like i just got a new passport those last 10 years let's like let's not change things again again and last um a lot of people asked if i'm nervous and i've talked about this before just the idea of even loving again after divorce for me 
I'm actually less nervous because I know what worst case scenario feels like and I know I'm capable of getting through it and out the other side. And so not that I expect worst case scenario to happen, but I'm like, okay, I know that literally worst case scenario, I would be okay. So it gives me more confidence in my ability to open my heart up again. And I can also tell the difference between Jordy and my previous relationship and how much more just genuine, kind, loving, caring this feels all around. It gives me so much more confidence. And so I'm kind of glad that I have something to compare that juxtaposition of because it gives me data points to be like, wow, this is so much healthier and this does feel so much different. And I actually feel probably less nervous than if I hadn't been married before. One thing that Jordy told me right after proposing, which I am really thankful for, he said, hey, I know that being engaged again and going through this process again might bring up some unexpected feelings that maybe you didn't even see coming. And I wanna let you know I am here for that, to hold your hand through all of that and to be by your side through that process. And any emotion that comes up is totally valid. We could talk through it together, work through it together. And I was thankful for him to say that to me, to know that if something did come up that I felt like was out of my control, it would be safe to bring it to him and to talk through it with him and that he would be accepting of it and not expecting it to be just like absolutely perfect first time engagement because to be honest, there is trauma and baggage in my life. And so, so far I don't really feel like anything has come up yet except for me just kind of maybe not being as excited for all of the bridal things. I'm more just excited t for the idea of a life with him. That boy's an Enneagram 4, he's so okay to talk feelings. So I was thankful that he had told me that. That's kind of initial thoughts, how I'm feeling. I wanted to just share and document. And um, like I said, I know it's a more niche experience to go through this process twice in your 20s. <laughs> so maybe this is helpful to someone. I need to find some water. My voice sounds disgusting. <coughs> Thanks for spending the day with me. I know this was a little bit different of a vlog format. Instead of going through a couple days with me, it was more of like a couple little things in a sit down video, but um, that's because we're getting ready for Hawaii, guys. I'm so excited to see y'all there. That'll be the next vlog, but I wanted to say thank you again to Osea for partnering with me on this video. I will have my link and my code all the information in the description box down below to save 10% off your order. Highly recommend that bundle for glowy summer skin, especially if you like self tanning or if you have like kind of more dry skin and want to look extra glowy in your shorts and your dresses and your swimsuit and all the skin. Skin is just so exposed in summer, you know, let's take care of it. I love y'all. Um, I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in Hawaii very soon.